Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Spooky here, and we're back playing Dark Souls 2. And I am bringing you another Dark Souls 2 build video today for PvP. And she is called the lovely Lost Heiress. And a little bit of backstory on her: she was an heiress that to a uh, great fortune, and she's just kind of back to get what's rightfully hers. And that just happens to be other people's blood. <laughs> so. I'm going to show you guys what I'm using for this build. I'm using the Grand Spirit Tree Shield. I'm using the Lightning Sun Sword plus 10 and the Dragon Chime plus 2. You can level that up to plus 5 to get maximum damage, but I just have it at plus 2 for this video. As far as my rings go, I have the Ring of Blades plus 2, the Chlorinthy Ring, Clear Blue Stone Ring, and the Ring of Still Protection. These rings are pretty crucial for this build, especially the clear blue stone ring for her, the casting speed it really helps so I would really recommend using this ring as well as the ring of blades plus two and the chlorine ring plus two the ring of still protection you can really change out for whichever one you would like but the ring of blades is is really necessary to get the um, right amount of damage so and the chlorine ring is pretty self-explanatory so all right moving on as far as my web my armor goes i'm wearing the fume sorcerer boots at plus 10 lying mage cuffs at plus 10 for casting speed the targary's armor at plus 9 just because it looks pretty pretty spiffy and shiny and it looks very elegant and the king's crown because yet again i'm very elegant she's very elegant so i think it looks really nice so also with some fashion soles but let's get down to the nitty gritty as far as the the damage goes <laughs> as uh, far as the magic goes I'm using blinding bolts I'm using sunlight blade great magic barrier splintering lightning lightning spear which isn't the best of the ones I'm using really I the one I use in the video more I'll use sacred oath or great magic barrier depending on who I'm going up against whether it's a howl or a caster so it really just depends but I'm also using um, blinding bolt that that works really well as a distraction as you'll see in the video, I use that a good bet to uh, distract, and then I'll, you know, I'll go after them, and so on and so forth. So it, it, it really, these, you can switch out these spells for whichever ones you like more, but I really would recommend using the Sunlight Blade for your Lightning Sun Sword, because it really is awesome. So I really hope you guys enjoy this video, and please let me know what you think in the comments, and I will see you guys later. Enjoy! Enjoy! 